Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you a great activity to get you thinking about your happiness and education, the happiness timeline. I've done this activity with many educators and workshops and it's amazing the great discussions it initiates. Not only that, many educators have told me that doing this activity has really helped them to become more self-reflective and aware of their own happiness in the profession. The activity is very simple to do. You can print off the happiness and education timeline on our website, motivatedyou.com, under the staff wellness tab, or you can simply draw an X and a Y axis as seen here. Now starting on the left hand side of the graph, draw a line that represents your level of happiness throughout your career. Do not overthink it, just think of how happy you are coming into education to help you select a starting point. From there, continue your line thinking of each year in your career based on your perceived level of happiness. Once you have your line on the graph, take time to analyze it. Often when we do this in workshops, educators will automatically start labeling the reasons for their highs and lows without even being asked. Try to identify why you were so happy on those peaks and so unhappy in those valleys. Look for trends that are occurring. The key is to be very honest with yourself and self-reflective. When analyzing those struggles you might have had, ask yourself what you could have done differently to make those times better. We have a lot more control over our happiness than we might realize. Look for changes that you might have made to improve your situation. Only focus on things you have the power to change. Avoid investing negative energy in things you do not control. Instead, focus on the decisions you are making to find more happiness. This is a great activity to do independently. Each year you can add to the graph to see if you're going in the right direction or not. If not, time to make some changes. As mentioned, this is a very powerful activity to do as a group. Talking through your graph with other educators and seeing their timelines really helps you to dig deeper and reflect more. If you find other educators whom you feel safe enough to share honestly with, this can be really powerful. Finally, this activity does not need to end with you. This is a great activity to do in the classroom. Not only could you have students graph their happiness throughout their education, but they could also graph their confidence in math, their love of learning, anything really. Being aware of your happiness and learning what makes you truly happy is an important first step in making happiness a priority. Hopefully completing your happiness timeline gets you thinking more about your happiness and education. Thank you for joining us, and remember to strive for happiness and education. You deserve it.